Let's now take a look at some of the enhancements that we've made to our workflows. Uh, so as you might be familiar with analyzer workflows, they are basically an intuitive uh, drag and drop, no code type of interface that allow you to build your data analytics uh, very easily. As you can see here, I've got my PCARD workflow uh, where I'm bringing in all of my PCARD transactions for a previous fiscal year. Um, and I'm grouping them into three categories, uh, IT transactions, personal transactions, and travel transactions. As you can tell, um, I've built some of my logic already, but I have more work to do. Um, and as I continue to do some work here, um, and this workflow gets more complex and larger, I'm going to need more working space. I'm going to need tools to be able to organize my workflow and make it simpler for me to understand what's going on, test it, debug it, execute it, and make sure it's working properly. With that in mind, uh, one of the first enhancements I'd like to talk about is containers. Basically, containers allow me to use my mouse, highlight the specific commands that I want to group together, right-click, and say that I want to add a container around them. For this one, I'll give it a travel uh, label. And now what I have is a container isolating all the commands in this process. And whether it is that from a visual management perspective, uh, I'll want to collapse it um, or move it around to give myself more space, I can do that. Or whether it is that from a debugging perspective or performance testing perspective, I need to disable certain containers so I can kind of hone in on a specific part of my workflow, run it, test it, and identify issues. I can do that very quickly and easily, and then I can re-enable my containers as it makes sense. With the same train of thought, you know, as this gets more complex and as I have more components on the screen, just the ability to zoom in and out uh, just using the wheel on my mouse and just giving myself more workspace to better organize things and, and more space to play with. And then last but not least, You'll notice that for my IT transactions, I've brought it to a conclusion where I'm exporting the results into a document and sending a notification out for it. If I'd like to also create that kind of logic for my personal transactions, um, instead of doing that from scratch, um, we now have the ability to copy whatever number of commands um, by highlighting them. I can right click and say that I want to copy them. And now, whether it's within this workflow or a different workflow, I can simply paste them. And now I haven't created them from scratch. I can quickly go ahead and build my flow as I want to. And by double clicking on any of these, I can adjust the parameters and configure them properly. And once I do that, I'm done and I'm set with that process. So as you can see, just giving you tools to be able to better organize the workspace um, to get to the end product faster and really be able to spend your time more efficiently.